Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be on this look here. This is my version of a Thanksgiving Day makeup look. So if you are somebody that wants to wear makeup on that day, maybe you're going somewhere or maybe you're hosting it at your house, I thought this was a good, fun look. It's definitely more, I feel like it's a mix of natural with like a touch of glam. So I definitely left out some things along the way just because realistically, I feel like most people are kind of busy on that day, so you might not have time to do a full face of makeup, but I wanted to add in just enough so you still feel like a little bit spruced up. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so as always, use Kapari first to moisturize my lips. And now I'm gonna go in with my base. So for Thanksgiving, for any holiday I feel like, I personally, would not do a full face makeup, but I do want to do a little bit of coverage. So I'm going to use concealers, but I want them to, I'm gonna spot conceal, so I want them to last. So the uh, primers that I'm gonna go in with are the Marc Jacobs Coconut One, and then this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I like to mix these. Um, it gives a very dewy, glowy, I'll do a pump of that. Dewy, glowy finish but it does help to hydrate as well. And so I just kind of mix these guys together. Okay, so for concealer, I'm gonna use the Too Faced, the uh, Born This Way concealer. This is in the shade Warm Sand. And I'm also gonna use my Glossier. This is in the shade Dark 30. Looks like that. So I just want to make sure I'm focusing this like here, anywhere where I'm breaking out or I have any spots from old breakouts, I just want to conceal. And then I'm going to take my beauty, uh, I almost said beauty blender, the Real Technique sponge. I honestly can't remember the last time I purchased a beauty blender. I just love this so much. It's just so like, it's, I feel like it's a little bit softer than the beauty blender. And then I like that there's that flat surface. Now, if you want to, you can just stop with this. I feel like just a good overall concealer to cover up everything and even out your skin color is good. Um, but this is one of those, something in my hair. This is one of those steps that you can either leave or take, depending on how much time you have and depending on just you and what you wanna do. I'm gonna do one extra step. I am gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go in with this concealer just to brighten a little bit. just because it adds a little something extra. It is a little bit more coverage. In case you were up the night before prepping, this will give you just a little bit of extra coverage. And because this is a dewier concealer, I definitely am going to set it just so it's not creasing or moving all over the place. So to set it, I'm gonna use the um, original RCMA. This is the No Color Powder. And to keep it fast and simple, I'm just gonna use that same sponge to set it in place. Okay, so now that we have evened out the skin tone, um, I'm gonna wait to finish off my face and go to my eyes. I wanna do just a little something with the eyes. Now this is definitely one of those skep, skeps, one of those steps that you can skip. Again, if you're in a hurry or you need to get somewhere, I would skip the eyes altogether, maybe do a little bit of mascara and then finish your base and go. But I have really been wanting to use this, um, this palette, so if you have a little extra time, then you can always have a little bit of fun just because it is the holiday still. So this is the Tarte, uh, the Tartlet Toasted Palette. 
And these colors, these are just so pretty. And I don't think I've really used this that much since I've purchased this palette, which is probably like, I don't know, it's more than six months ago. And I've just kind of been waiting for the fall to really like play with this. So again, if you have the time, I feel like this is a really good occasion. So I'm gonna go in with, this is the It Cosmetics, the, I think this is the 105, the 105 brush. Um, and I'm gonna go in with this first shade here. This is in the shade Latte. And I'm really kind of, I mean, I'm focusing on that crease but if you go a little bit below it, a little bit above it, it doesn't really matter. Now you could just stop here, again, go in with a little bit of mascara and be done, but I'm gonna go in with one more shade. Uh, honestly, there's, with all of these different shades, you could do so, so many looks, but realistically speaking, again, it's Thanksgiving morning, I personally wouldn't have time. So I'm gonna pick one shade, let me see. I think, and I was playing around with this shade. This is the shade Sunset. It's just a pretty shimmer. This one up here would also be pretty. And I'm just gonna do a little bit on the actual lid itself. So I'm going in with a Wayne Goss 18 brush, looks like that. And so it's kind of pinched and flat. So I'm just gonna go in with this shade on the actual lid. Now, if you wanted to, to really make this stand out, you could wet your brush and it's gonna give this shimmer more of like a foiled look. But because I am not really going for a full glam look, I personally am not going to do that just because, I don't know, I feel like when I do that, I need the rest of the makeup to kind of match that level of intensity. But because I'm kind of skipping steps here and there, and I'm, this is gonna be a little bit more of a natural look with a dash of glam, I'm not gonna wet my brush. But of course you could, if you want that, that full on shimmer effect. Okay, so for my bottom lash line, I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Forever. Um, this is the 216, the, their little pencil brush. And I'm gonna go back in with this initial shade that we used. It's not focusing, but it's that light brown. There we go. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of buff that under there just so that doesn't look too bare. Okay, so moving back over to the face, um, I'm gonna start with bronzer, and I'm actually just using a powder. So this is the Becca Multitasking Perfecting Powder, and this is in the shade Warm Honey. This just goes on so smooth and creamy, um, but it is matte. And this is the Morphe, the R10 that I like to use it with. I like to use this brush when I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring, but also a smidge of bronzing. So I'm just gonna grab some of that. Now, you could also just do an overall, like get a bigger bronzer brush and just do an overall bronze look. Skip blush, maybe add a little bit of highlight and you're good. But I am gonna do a little bit of blush today. Um, just cause I kinda wanna do a, a little extra. Again, it just depends on what steps you wanna skip um, and which ones you want to include. And obviously how much time you have. I'm just going to do a little smidge of contouring. So I actually got a little bit excited with the bronzer and I just went and there was like big spots. So quick tip, what I always do when that happens is just take another clean bronzer brush and then just kind of go over it. Kind of helps to pick up some of that excess product. So in effect, you're kind of like erasing what you did, but you don't have to start all over again. So it's good. Now for my nose contour, I'm actually gonna skip, skip, switch. I'm not skipping it. <laughs> I'm switching bronzers 
This is the Hula Bronzer um, by Benefit, and it's just a little bit of a lighter shade, so I feel like it's perfect for nose contours. And I'm gonna go back in with that pencil brush, the 216. Now this is something that you could, again, this is one of those steps I feel like it's not 100% necessary. So if you want to save a little bit of time, you can skip this. For blush, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. And this is in the shade Let's Go Nude. It looks like this. So this is also a matte blush and I'm gonna use this on the uh, Sigma F10. And then for highlight, I'm going to use the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills. This is her collab with Anne Reezy. This is the gold highlighter, so pretty. And I'm taking this on a Sigma uh, F35, their highlighter brush. And using that same highlighter but switching brushes, this is the Morphe 360. Looks like that, just a baby, little tiny baby brush. And I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting on my nose. And then also, um, if you want to do just a little extra highlighting underneath the brow bone and in the inner corners. Now to make sure that all of this stays put, I'm going to use the Urban Decay, the All Nighter Pollution Setting Spray. And then I went ahead and did my eyelashes off camera. And what I use is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And so I actually forgot how much I love this stuff. It's really good. And I use it on the top lashes and the bottom. And then for eyebrows, unless you're like really good at doing it super fast, then I would just go for a brow gel. I think ideally, if you are somebody who wants to fill in your brows, um, a, a color gel would work best. So I know that Benefit makes the, or at least they used to the little gimme brow. I think MAC makes some, Anastasia makes some. So I think that would be the easiest, just because you can just comb through it really fast. It gives you a little bit of color, but you don't have to sit there and like sculpt everything out. I actually don't have a colored uh, gel. I know actually, I think Givenchy makes one too, but I have never used it. So I'm just gonna use my uh, clear brow gel, but if you have a colored one, that would work really well. And I'm just going to brush, brush these out just so they're kind of a little bit more tamed. And then I know that they will stay all day. And then the last thing to do to finish up the look is the lips. So what I suggest is for something like Thanksgiving Day where it's like an all day event, you wanna do something that's very low maintenance. So you don't wanna to have to use a lip liner and a lipstick and a lip gloss. You wanna do something that if you have to touch up, you can do it quick, easy, and it's always gonna look good. So, uh, oh, and comfortable, comfortable to wear all day. So what I'm going to use is the Marc Jacobs. This is the um, one of their lip creams in the shade 230 J'adore. So this is a nude lipstick, but it's definitely, it's like a nudie mauve with a little bit of brown. 
So it's super pretty, um, very comfortable on the lips. And what I like about this is if you like kind of just like blot it, it's super forgiving. So it, it doesn't need to be like exact precise lines um, to where it's perfect. You can just kind of go quick if you have a mirror or if you want to go to the bathroom really fast and just kind of do it quick and then get back out to all the action. So that's how I'm going to wear it. I'm just going to kind of blot it on. All right, guys, so that wraps up this Thanksgiving Day makeup look. I hope you like it. Of course, if it's a little bit too much makeup for your preference, you can always tweak it. You can leave some things out. You can add some more things in. But whatever you end up wearing, you just want to make sure that you're comfortable. So I hope you and your family have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Eat lots of good food. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.